good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video this shit is not for kids today ladies and gentlemen we are conducting wwe action figure surgery episode number 37 in the house and what a coincidence that we are featuring elite series 73 so you have episode 37 you flip it around series 73 pretty interesting shit right no not really what a jackass but today we are conducting some surgery that I'm very excited about. We have Basic Series 100, we have the Survivor Series Elites, we got some other things, a lot of new figures in here featured, and I feel like Elite Series 73 really didn't have a ton of things to do with it, you know? I felt like Elite Series 73 Triple H was pretty much perfect. I couldn't really think of anything to fix up about him. I thought that he was a great figure. Kyrie Sane, uh, again, I didn't think that anything was needed. Elias, I felt like we could have done a head swap or something, but it just, I don't know, it just wasn't feeling it. I, I I don't know. We'll probably do that later on, possibly. But at the moment, I just wasn't, you know, I didn't want to include it here today just for the sake of it. I want to do things that I actually want to do, you know what I mean? Daniel Bryan was pretty much perfect as well. And so the only figure from Elite Series 73 that we have is Aleister Black. But I think that it is a big time one because we're going to show you how to add that wrist tape there. And we're going to show you how to fix these lower legs, at least what I'm going to do. Because it bothers me and I am going to fix his height a little bit and just kind of see what it looks like. You know, it may be trash. It may look like trash and I may trash it get the hell out of it just get, get rid of it but you know we're gonna see what happens and you know if it happens it happens if it doesn't happen then uh, we're just gonna go with it and actually now that I'm sitting here I just thought of an excellent idea and I'm actually going to go over here and look at something real quick and I'll tell you if it's gonna work scrap that idea Brad it is not going to work that is unfortunate however uh, what we're gonna do may turn out again it may suck and I also wanted to show you guys some pickups if you guys can see the three headless basic John Cena's in the back I went to to the Wally World, and at the Wally World, I did pick up three basic 100. Oh, I dropped his head. But at the Wally World, I did pick up three basic series 100 John Cena heads. I love that. God dang in heaven, what the hell is going on? But they have the nice haircut, you know. I love this likeness to John Cena. I thought they were very nice. So I picked up three of them. I looked them up on Amazon. You know, I was like, you know, if they're cheap on Amazon, I'll just buy them on Amazon. You know, not buy them at retail. But uh, we went there, and they had three of them. They were 10 bucks, you know, like basics are at Walmart, and they were $22 on Amazon, so I said, hell no, bro, hell to the no, I'm gonna buy these bitches right now, and so we bought them, and um, I'm trying to figure out what fix-ups I want to do with them, so I don't know if we're gonna switch any John Cena heads, we might switch some John Cena heads in this video, but I have... <laughs> When I talk a lot, my throat gets dried out and then I just vomit all over the TV screen. So we haven't figured out what fix-ups we want to do for the John Cena's just yet, but once we figure that out, I will be putting them in surgery. I just have not figured that out quite yet. I thought about putting this basic 100 John Cena head on the MDT Live version of John Cena, but uh, that can come at a later date just because, you know, he doesn't have a match at Hell's Gate or anything like that, so, uh, I, you know, it's no rush right now. There's no point to it, and I haven't figured out exactly if I want to do it just yet, so we'll figure that out when it comes, but the rest of surgery, what we're going to do to get... get the, the rest of what we're gonna do today, guys, is going to be spat out right here, and we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna get into it. So what we got back here, we do have the Survivor Series Elite Jeff Hardy. If you guys missed my haul from the other day, I put it on my Instagram story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Damn, what the hell are you doing? Go follow me on Instagram. But what we're gonna do with this Survivor Series Elite, I took one of them, and I'm going to pop the head scan off, and just for shits and giggles, we're going to pop the head scan off and put it over on my extra Elite 71. I think that would look good, just because you have this purplish pink color going on in the hair. I think it'll look good on the Elite 71 body. I think that'll look really fire flames. So we're going to put that head right there. I think that'll look freaking fantastic. And not only that, we're going to have this headless Jeff Hardy, right? So not only are we going to do that, we're going to take my basic Hardy that I have over here and we're going to put this basic head sculpt over here so it has the lime green gauges to go with the lime green armbands and shit. I think that's going to be fire flames. So this head sculpt will look fantastic over here. I think that'll look great and that will fix up two Jeff. So we'll have two Jeff fix uh, we'll have two Jeff fix-ups, and that will be what we do for Hardy. Very simple stuff. Nothing too cray-cray. Next up, guys, I'm, I'm just going to get these out of here. I mean, what the hell are we doing? Get these John Cena's out of here. There's no point to them. Get those out of there. So what we're going to do next is take my Basic Series 100 rock, and we're going to pop it off this Elite 47.5 rock, and we're going to add the Basic Series 100 head sculpt. And while this is pretty big, I did want to see what that looked like on there. Like, God, they made those heads pretty big, man. But maybe they'll look okay on this body. We'll see what that looks like. A really easy swap to do. We're going to switch these head sculpts. And not only that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing the Aleister Black fix-up that we have done in the past. Still have not heated up his leg just yet, so I will be doing that later on. 
I don't know when I'll do that, but I do need to do that. But we're going to pop off his lower legs, and we're going to switch them out with these lower legs of Elite Series 64 Seth. Pop these kick pads off, and then pop these kick pads back on, and I know what you're thinking, Brad. Well, his lower legs are going to be black. Yes, they are. And uh, on the left side, I don't think it'll matter that much because, you know, it'll be black and it'll match. But over here, I know it's a gray color. His legs obviously gray, or his kick pads obviously gray. The lower leg will be black, and it will kind of mesh together. But I feel like the black at the top and the black right there and the black over here should all mesh together, so I don't think it'll matter that much. <coughs> I just want him to be a little bit taller, and it's not going to bother me. So I am definitely going to do that, and uh, we're going to see what that looks like. And then to add wristbands to him or wrist tape, whatever you want to call it, we're going to take the wrist gauntlets off of this Rey Mysterio Basic. I know a lot of people have been using the Elite 72 wristbands, but I want them to be a little bit thicker and a little bit wider, so I'm going to be using these. And I don't think they're the same width. I think these are a little bit wider, but regardless, I didn't want to take them off my other Rey Mysterio Elite, so we are going to use the ones off this Basic. And that should be relatively easy. All you have to do is heat up these hands, pop off these hands, because, you know, you ain't got to heat these up, so that's great. You just pop them off and then uh, heat these up and pop them on there. Very simple stuff, nothing to do there. And then we'll switch out those lower legs, and then surgery will be completed for episode number 37. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and shut the hell up, get this stuff out of my face, and we are going to start surgery. All right, guys, so our first order of business is going to be all these head sculpts. Now, they should be very simple. Again, we're switching the basic Jeff Hardy over to the Survivor Series Elite, and we're switching the Survivor Series Elite over to the Elite 71 while it is headless. And then we are going to switch the Rock Basic over to the Rock Elite. Now, one thing that might happen in this video is I may go ahead and put one of the John Cena heads onto a body just to kind of see what it looks like. And I actually think I am going to do that just to kind of see. I mean, we might as well look at it, you know, see what it looks like, see if a hat can fit it and stuff like that. So we'll we'll run that by the committee and we'll see what goes down. But let's just shut the hell up again and get into our first bit of surgery, which is going to be to heat up all these heads. And you guys know how we do, you know, if, if it heats all of it up at once and we actually are able to switch everything and do everything correctly, I will be completely shocked. That would be absolutely fantastic, but we won't know unless we get it going and find out. So let's go ahead and conduct our first bit of surgery here on episode 37. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and conduct this. I'm kind of afraid because, again, I don't want to hurt these Jeff Hardy figures because they're so nice. Okay, so the Jeff Hardy Survivor Series head popped off pretty nicely there. We're going to test the basic, and the basic figure is not really coming off. Damn in hell. All right, well, we're going to try the rest. We actually do know that the Survivor Series head will pop on here, so we don't have to worry about that. We can just pop this on here, and there we go. Popped on there, so we can get rid of the Survivor Series Elite slash Elite 71. We can come back to that later. Uh, as far as the Basic Series 100, looks like it did work pretty well, and we're going to see if the Elite 47.5 worked, and it did, so now we can pop it. <coughs> oh my god. We can see if this is going to work here, and and pop that on there, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let you guys uh, sort that out at the end. And as far as the basic is concerned, I guess I can just pop this on here, right? Just pop this rock basic head over here, or this elite head over here, and then he's a crowd member now, so that's fire. We can use his knee pads or something later on. But as far as this head is concerned, oh, damn, I don't really want to snap that. I usually don't give a shit, but... You know what? We're going to, uh, what we're going to do actually is this portion right here, is we're going to go ahead and heat this up, and while we heat that up, we're going to heat up, <laughs> we're going to heat up this uh, Defining Moments John Cena, and while we do that, we're going to heat up one of the Basic Series 100 heads, just to see what it looks like on this Elite. That way, uh, we knock out, you know, two birds with one stone. So I'm going to put that there to block that, and we're going to continue this portion and just kind of see how it goes. And uh, But our Rock and our Jeff Hardy are completed, so that is a good sign, Brad. We'd like to see that. So Jeff Hardy and Rock are complete, and now we're going to heat up the John Cena head and the other Jeff Hardy basic and pop that over onto the other Jeff Hardy Elite. Alright guys, let's see how this goes. Maybe this Hardy is good to go now. Oh my god, his chest is on fire. Oh damn, dude. There's actually some glue on that peg. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. But we're uh, nonetheless, we're going to pop this head over here on the Survivor Series Elite body. And we will come back to this at the end, just like our other figures. 
and we'll kind of see how that stands. And so uh, now we're going to pop this on here. I know by experience these heads are actually pretty easy to remove as you guys can see there. And I hope this turns out all right. I just am kind of curious to see what it looks like on this body. It may not look good at all, so... Yeah, he's kind of, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, we'll look at it at the end. We can, we can just look at it at the end. It may not fit this body, if that makes sense. We may have to see it on a different Elite. I don't know. Again, we'll just... We'll let you guys be the judge of that, and then uh, you guys can let me know what you think, and I'll give you my honest opinion as well. But that gives us another switch to look at at the end, and we uh, we can tell. I mean, I mean, I love the likeness. That's why I bought it, is because I love the Basic Series 100 John Cena likeness. I think it looks just like him, and it works for, you know, that ruthless aggression era of John Cena, and it's a nice haircut as well. But now that we've gotten that portion taken care of, let's just pop this on here just to see what the hell it looks like. Oh yeah, I found it now, Brad. We've cracked the code. Best fix up ever, dominant. But all right, guys, now we're moving into the Alistair Black part of the portion. And what we can do is actually just, let's just go ahead and remove these hands. We're going to remove these hands out of the way. And the reason we're doing this is because uh, I want to have them already ready. So when I pop those wrist pegs on there, we can just go ahead and slide those hands in and it will be all good. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and raise up these lower legs and get them in position to be heated up. So we're going to put that right there. And then we're going to take our Seth Rollins lower legs and I guess we can just kind of plop that in between, right? Just go ahead and plop that there. Actually, I don't know that. I don't know how I feel about that, Brad. I'm just kind of, you know what? F it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. And then as far as Rey Mysterio goes, we're just going to put his hands up, slide him right here, and just put him in the way. It should work. We're going to find out though. Let's do it. All right, guys, uh, not sure what the hell I'm thinking on this. I think it's going to be super duper hot. There goes the one hand in the one wrist gauntlet. I'm going to go ahead and pop that onto Aleister Black's wrist right there. So we can go ahead and pop that on there. Go ahead and do it on the other side. Just pop that arm off. Get a, over here and pop it on the other wrist. So there his wrists are done. Now we're going to test the lower legs here. And they should be pretty loosey-goosey. I was actually worried about this leg, so I'm glad to see that it's all flaily waily and it should do just like that. And then this is the leg, so we'll go ahead and just pop that off right there. Get this peg, push it through the lower leg of black. Go ahead and pull this knee pad up. And now we're going to try and push this on here. I guess we can go ahead and remove that, that kick pad that we don't need. Go ahead and remove this kick pad as well, just like so. And then we gotta put this lower leg, this is the challenge, gotta put the lower leg onto this. It's the, the bullshit thing is the knee pad, I'm just gonna take that off. Maybe I can slide it over the little piece, hopefully. All right, so got that side, that was actually pretty easy. Pop that off, pop that off. Now the Seth Rollins lower leg, which actually didn't heat up as much as I thought it would. And you can see the little shavings of black plastic on that lower leg of Seth, which I don't know where the hell that came from. Popping that off of there. Come on, Brad. Come on. Gotta hurry. Don't want it to cool, because if it cools, then we're gonna have to reheat it, and I don't want to do that. And then I think we got it. Did we get it? Yes. Urgh. I think we got it. Yes, we did get it. Now, what we have to do is go ahead and pop this kick pad up here. Ah, oh, damn. May have to let it cool off a little bit. You guys will see in the next portion of the video. As it cools off, it should uh, fit a lot better. But um, now I gotta get this damn knee pad. But this knee pad's actually pretty big, so I would assume that it could just pop over this and it shouldn't be that big of an issue, especially with it being an open back knee pad. It's not, you know, it's not. it shouldn't be as hard as getting one of those solid knee pads over it. It looks like I've mistaken. Damn, Brad. All right, damn, that sucks. All right, doesn't look like I'm gonna get it, Brad. So it looks like what I'm going to do is go ahead and heat up this lower leg again. All right, so what I did was went ahead and just popped that lower leg off and then shoved that knee pad over that. That way, you know, that would fit better and then it got closed up in there. All right, so there we go. So now the black lower legs of the Roll the top talents are the Elite 64 Rollins are on there. And now 
what we're going to do is pop this kick pad on here and I don't know if that's gonna work down regardless if the kick pad goes on Brad we are going to stick these hands back in here and you guys will see that the wrist tape should be fixed or the wrist gauntlets whatever issue should be fixed there and you guys can kind of see what that looks like but uh, I'm gonna let this cool off and I will see you guys in the next segment of the video where we cover everything that we've done here today on WWE action figure surgery all right guys it is that time of action figure surgery where we are going to review everything we've done here today and I can say that it was a pretty successful day I wouldn't call it a perfect day and we will talk about those things so let's go ahead and get into it with the best fix up of the day and that has to be the John Cena Hardy right here get that garbage out of my face get it out so what we're going to review here guys is the basic series 100 rock elite 40 7.5 fix up right there and I must say that the head is big I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it I know that people have you know sort of uh, dogged on these figures a bit and you know yeah I did knock over the backstage with that that freaking just ignorant display of anger that threw the Jeff Hardy John Cena fix up garbage basic across the John bro that's like the third video oh god anyways we're moving on bro we're moving on let's get in here let's get in here let's, let's stack this up what do we what do we do Doing. I mean, what is what even is this? So right here, you guys can see. I mean, it's just too big. It's just way too big. I mean, you you can clearly see it right here. It doesn't, but like, look at it up next to these. It's clearly too big. I'm not. I'm not sure exactly. It doesn't look terrible. I am gonna put it on the shelf. But what the hell was that, Ellie? Playing with exacto knives, Brad. Playing with exacto knives. So getting in here, yeah, I mean, I don't hate it, but it's not the, my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite. Let's move on to the next one, guys. We have the Elite 71 Survivor Series Elite fix up right here, and I really love this. I think this is probably one of my favorite Jeff Elites is the Survivor Series. I just love the braided hair look. I love the pink slash purplish hair with the pink armbands. I think that's fantastic. It's so beautiful. I love it. It looks great. It's definitely one of my favorite fix ups here today, if not my favorite. I just think, oh, next to this other Jeff especially. It just looks so good. Um, I thought that this uh, Survivor Series fix up with the Battle Pack head or the basic, I think it's the Top Talents basic Jeff Hardy head. I can't remember which one, but with the lime green gauges and the lime green armbands on this black tank top look with the belt and everything. I mean, both of these Jeff fix ups are great. I love them. I think they're going to look great up on the Jeff shelf and I'm happy to add these. And I'm super excited to find the Survivor Series Elite Jeff Hardy at retail. If I find this figure at retail, I'm purchasing it. Doesn't matter if I have seven of them, I'm buying them all. And and uh, it's just because I really like that head. I like this base body for a lot of different Jeff looks, and it's going to be great. So uh, I'm very, very satisfied with both of these fix-ups. I think they're going to look terrific down the line. What great surgery on these two, man. Just excellent. Next up, guys, we do have the John Cena Basic 100 fix-up here, and I like this. I, I think I do like it. You know, I felt at first that the head may sit a bit high, but after, uh, you know, just kind of looking it over and mulling it over, I think this looks good, man. I think this is excellent. I think that the, the facial expression is God tier. I love, you know, the defining moments John Cena fix up here with the shoes and everything. If we take this hat and, you know, we're going to test it here to see if it fits, you know, it's not a perfect fit. Like, if we get it right there, uh, you know, it kind of, it may sit a little bit high, but I, it doesn't bother me that much, and I just think that looks excellent. I think that looks great. I, could they downsize this head maybe a little, um, but it, it, I think it still works. Maybe the neck's a little bit long, but I don't know, man. I think I feel it, and then, you know, you flip it backwards for the other look, and I don't know. I kind of of like that man he looks handsome he looks good John Cena's looking good let me know down in the comment section below what you think I just think that looks excellent man John Cena's the go bro just look at him just look at him Brad that looks excellent so that fix up right there will get your nipples hard so there's the John Cena fix up and then finally guys we do have the Alistair Black Elite 73 fix up and you guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below so what we did is I ended up being able to get that on there I think that you know the kick pads do go on there let me know down in the comment section below what do you think I don't think Think that the lower legs look that bad to be honest with you like I don't think this looks too bad um, with the you know the black at the top of the kick pads it kind of ties it together. It kind of makes it look more like kick pads. Am I weird or is that true? It kind of just kind of gives it that feel to it. Um, there's no gappage or anything, but they do kind of struggle. Like when they turn, they are kind of uh, like tight when they turn. And then on this one, you can see that it kind of hugs and then it will spin off. So the only issue I have with it is that, but it will go on. You guys can see there that it does go on there. There's no gappage or anything like that, but I'm not sure. I, I don't know how I feel about it, but it did, it did fix the height problem. His height is definitely fixed as far as that is concerned. So that is, you know, a good thing 
interesting to see. And then the wrist gauntlets look good. I don't think that's a problem. You know, they may be a little bit. What I may have to do is switch these out for the older Ray Basics. I know the older Ray Basics have skinnier, you know, wrist gauntlets, which I'll probably switch out because they do kind of look, I don't know, kind of loose or something or too wide. I don't know. We'll see what that looks like. Let me see if I have a Ray Basic to show you guys what I'm talking about. So right here, you guys can see what I'm talking about. These gauntlets right here are a little bit skinnier, and I think that's probably what I'll do. What in the hell is going on now? Forget about it. All right. So you guys can see here, this is clearly a little bit skinnier, and I think I'll probably switch those out for those just because these look a little bit too thick maybe and a little bit too loose. So I think that'll make that look better. And so, yeah, I'll probably do that. But, but that pretty much does it for today's episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys. Again, let me know down below what you think of the kick pads. What do you think about these Seth Lower Legs? Oh, uh, you see that gap right there? Oh, dude, I don't know if this is going to work. Christ, I hate that, dude. Maybe I can extend that peg or something. I don't know what I'm going to do. If anybody has any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section below to fix the height of Aleister Black. But I do want to use this figure for the Vindication Elimination Chamber, but that pretty much does it, guys. We have the Aleister Black. We have the Jeff Hardy Survivor Series Elite. We have the Elite 71 fix-up. We have the Basic 100 Rock figure. And then we have our beautiful John Cena Nipples Hard Elite fix-up. Thank you guys so very much for watching this episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.